What's up everyone? My name is Dennis and Bertram. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're having a great holiday. I hope you're eating a lot of turkey. I've been eating a lot of turkey and uh, I was hoping to do a lot of sleeping, but instead of sleeping, I've been coding and I've been coding up something that I'm really excited about and I think um, a few of you at least will be really excited about. So uh, a week or so ago, I showed a demo of Merkle Mint, which is counterfactual minting of ERC-721s. And that's for a project that I'm working on where you uh, store, can store, archive uh, large quantities of images on the blockchain. And I was using as a part of the demo Webflow. And the point of that was to sort of simplify the front end process, right? Like, because a lot of times I feel in the community, building a really great front end is, is what sort of like becomes a real hindrance in building dApps. Uh, not all of us are great front-end designers. Uh, front-end certainly is its entire own experience. Uh, it's very complicated to do well. So anyway, I was thinking, okay, a uh, few people were talking on Twitter, oh, how can we make dApps more accessible? And I was thinking, well, maybe Webflow, right? Like Webflow is this really popular tool. It's very pot powerful. And basically it allows designers to build um, really great looking uh, websites, front-end websites but it has a lot of limitations, right? And it doesn't natively support Web3. So in, in the demo that I did with Merkleman, I used jQuery to sort of like demo what I was doing with Merkleman in a really easy way. And it kind of worked. It was, it was a little bit tricky. It, it wasn't perfect. So anyway, um, last week, a bunch of us met up in Brooklyn and Bushwick, and we sort of were talking about like uh, functional programming and React and, and dApps. And <clears throat> one of the suggestions that, that had come up was this, why not use Web3, uh, why not use React portals? Because I've been trying to figure out how do I get, uh, you know, the dApp into Webflow so that you can design it really easy, but you can still interface with Ethereum. And that turned out to be a great suggestion. Um, and I tried it and it worked. And then I was sleeping on it and I was eating turkey and cranberry sauce. And it just like hit me that we could just take this way farther and make something that was really just like could just blow open um you know dap development for dap developers right so if, if you know my role i've been a developer advocate at uh, open zeppelin for the past year and so i've just been out in the community and really talking with people about like what they're using what they're doing um what the bottlenecks are and something that i keep on coming back to is understanding that you know daps we really need not just us here in the community like not, not just us building dApps. We need all that huge world of designers, all those people who are building front ends for mom and pop shops. We need them building Ethereum dApps. And it's really hard to get them to start building Ethereum dApps because, you know, Web3 is, is tricky. It's hard. So, you know, I was thinking that, I was eating turkey, I was playing with Webflow. It's just like, okay, what if we could just like put this together? So I, I started a project. Um, I haven't been sleeping, I've just been coding on it. I call it Dap Hero. So I'm just gonna like demo it really quickly for you. It's super alpha, but I think you're gonna really understand quickly what I mean. Um, so what we have down here is you see, um, right? So this is my Webflow window here, Dap Hero, right? And it's already published, so I just publish it, go to the selected domain, and uh, oh, I'm not supposed to show you that yet. Uh, so it's empty, right? So nothing here, right? So trick is, if we go to our test page, what I'm doing here is here, and this is gonna be really hard to see, I think. So let me, uh, let me zoom in, right? So in custom code in the head, I'm injecting React and React DOM. And then in the body, I'm injecting a bundle that I built over on this side, right? So I'm injecting a bundle down here in a script tag that's being stored on Amazon S3. All right, so now let's zoom out. So let me show you, uh, gosh, why am I zooming? Okay, maybe, maybe I zoomed out too far. That's 100%, all right, that's fine, too close. So here's my page. This is what it looks like, right? And actually you can preview it even inside a Webflow. So what do I wanna do? Well, let's say I'm, I'm gonna build, uh, I don't know, just a little web, something, something to show me about my account, right? So I'm gonna pull in a section, and then um, let's pull in a container. So now we have a container in there. And you know, let's 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 give this some real margin on the top, right? So it's down there. And then I'm gonna put in, I don't know, like a heading, right? So maybe the heading should be in here. There should be like DAP Hero. Right? So that's pretty cool. But let's let's make this um, flex and then put in the perfect. Love it. DAP Hero. 
So now under, now I have my heading, DAP Hero. So what do, I want, what do I want to get first? Well, okay, let's put a div in here. And this div is going to be called, well, I'm not gonna name it anything. I'm not gonna bother with that. But so now the first thing I wanna do is get my address, right? So I'm gonna put two text blocks in here, right? So this is gonna say ETH address. And in this, I'm just gonna say, let's put some, um, you know, what, what are, Ethereum addresses look like. They kind of look like something like that, right? So now we go to preview it, DAP hero, ETH address. Fantastic. Right? So so now let's now let's now let's start with well no, okay, I'm not gonna show you the magic just yet. Let me add some more to this, right? ETH address. So now that I've got that, what would else would I want to know? Well, I'd probably also want to know um, my balance, right? So ETH balance, right? So and in here, I'm just going to put like 0, 0.00, right? Actually, I have a couple of Ethereum, right? So, so, but that's that's my demo there. Um, let's just, you know, let's also flex that. Oh, that looks good. And then, um, you know, we're going to flex this one too, but we're going to keep this vertical because, you know, my address will be wider, although I'll probably truncate it. Great. So what do I do? Okay, let's let's publish this. And then you just go to DAP Hero Webflow IO, which is over here. And ta-da, nothing. DAP Hero ETH address, ETH balance. All right, so we still have something to do. What do we do? Well, first of all, this is pretty ugly. So let's let's just make this a little bit more beautiful. And this is what is going to be really amazing for designers building um, uh, building Ethereum dApps, right? Because like, look at how easy easy it is to, to make this thing interesting and beautiful. Maybe even this container, I'm gonna just do like some background. Let's just give it like a gradient, something, um, you know, kind of cool, yeah, pure like that. Let's let's get some good colors here. I don't know, all right, that looks great. That looks great, maybe green, I like green, right? Yeah, pure. And you know what, we need, we're gonna put a little bit of, let's put a little padding inside of this thing, right? DAP here. Okay, it's already looking fantastic. Looks amazing. But you know, we're even gonna round up the corners on this baby, and then we're gonna just throw in some box shadows on this baby, right? Like, look at this. Oh man, it's getting slick. And then maybe just like make it a little bit, right, like that, maybe a little bit more blur. And then, and then we're even gonna like give it a line right oh look at that it's getting sweet right so you can see maybe my design skills aren't fantastic but yours could certainly be dap here with here all right so now what are we going to do well i'm going to take this and i'm going to go over here i'm just going to say web3 can you see this maybe maybe i need to make this larger all right oh, this is about as big as i can do web3 dot address that's it then on my balance i'm just going to go web3 dash balance right now what's going to happen well let's publish it this is publishing live right so you could go to this address right now and you could see it and nothing happens but why doesn't anything happen well i need to connect to metamask right so let's go back in here Pull open this. I'm gonna give myself a sweet button. Where is it? All right, all right. Let's just drop in the button right here. Button. Nice. All right. Let, let, let's let's give it a little bit of margin on the top. Right. So now what I'm gonna call this? I'm gonna call this Web3 Enable Button. That's what I'm gonna call it. Right. Great. Beautiful. So now publish this like domain. So here's the cool thing. I can see my preview. This is what it looks like. Dap hero, ETH address, ETH balance, button text. But when I go over to the page where I published it, enable MetaMask. Oh, what do you think that does? Well, first of all, I lost a little bit of my styling. No, I don't. I didn't lose my styling actually. Enable MetaMask. Oh my God. Now we have the MetaMask notification pop up. Click it. Oh my God, now we have our Ethereum address and our ETH balance. What? So now I can go back in here. Maybe let's say I want to style this up a little bit more. I want to make this a little bit more beautiful, right? So, uh, bah, bah, bah. maybe balance a little bit bigger. 
Maybe they should be a little bit bigger. Let's see. All right, something like that. And maybe, maybe I also want to just give a little space below that too, right? I want a little space above that too, right? Now, what I want to do, let's maybe uh, change the font color of that to show you how easy it is that I am designing a Web3 DAP right in Webflow. Go back to the test page, reload it. Sweet, Web3 is already connected because we connected to it. Now, watch this, right? If I just change it to, oh, actually, don't watch that yet. I don't have any information to show you there because I can add some other things, right? So let's go back in here, take this, copy them. Youth balance, right? So let me let me just uh, style this up a little bit there. So there's a little bit more space between these guys. So network, network name. So then over here, let's do none. That's my demo. And then we'll go over here and just go web three, network name, right? Publish that, right? This is live. Oh, network main, what? Now click it, go down, Robson. Ah, oh, well, nothing happened. It was supposed to reload that. Oh, there we go, Robson. It's supposed to do it live. It was doing it live before, main. Ah, all right, I gotta fix something there. Clearly, I, I have to fix a hook somewhere. Anyway, there it goes, it's live right there. So now, let's take it to the next level, right? Dap Hero. ETH address, by the way, I'm truncating it just for my general privacy, although it's probably not super private. But let's do something even cooler, right? Let's say, well, that's really nice, but that's all this text is kind of boring. So let's take in an image, right? Right here, we'll put an image. Now, uh, I do have some images already set up here, but I'm just going to leave this placeholder. That's fine. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little bit more space there, a little bit more space on top. That's great, right? Beautiful. So let's look at it. I have the image and I'm going to just add to it. Oh, what's the selector I need to add? I need to add, I can go over here. You probably already know what's happening, but I want to do, um, gosh, let, let's make it first a div to put this in so I can identify it easier. All right, so div I'm gonna call web3 box profile image parent. Now you're thinking, what's that box from? Well, you're probably thinking it's from 3box, and you would be right, it's from 3box. So now I go web3 box profile image child. Now, let's see if I got this right publish if not i have like a little demo that i already made so you can see it go back up here refresh oh what is that that is my image for my three box profile right so now i have my three box profile going on super slick super easy now let, let me just okay well, let me add something else here ba, ba, ba. actually let me delete this guy because he's ugly copy that guy right what am I going to do? Website. And then here, well, I'm just going to call, I'm going to put some, you know, www.examplesite.com. Now, instead, I'm going to go web3 box website. What? Publish. Oh my God, my website from my three box profile. Look at how fast I am building an Ethereum DAP here right now, right? So um, that's about where my demo ends. I show you, I, I can show you like a little DAP, the other homepage here. I had an example that I made before, right before that. I'm just going to click publish. This one actually might not be up to date. Uh, let me see it. Is it up to date? Uh, yeah. Beautiful, right? So the cool thing is that we can do is we can design in real time. Uh, Web3 apps, dApps, using the power of really mature tools like Webflow, which tons of tons of really high-end people around the world use, designers are using to design stuff. We can see what our dApp looks like, right? Because we're inheriting our, our styling. We're inheriting our styling from our dApp that we made, right? So we don't have to worry about any of that. All we need to do is we just type in whatever ID our element is, right? 
Oh, it's three box profile image child. Sure, right? What's your name? Three box box name, right? What's your website? The box website. Easy, right? It just goes in there and then you have it live, right? So how's this working? Where's the magic coming from? Well, I already showed you. We load in that bundle and we, we, we uh, load in your React. And what we're doing, doing over here is, and let me zoom in a bit on this maybe. How do I zoom in? Uh, ba, ba, ba. All right, uh, that's not it. Oops. All right, well, we're not really zooming in here. I'm on a Windows keyboard, a wacky HP keyboard for Mac. So, but what's happened is that Dapp Hero is this collection of containers, which, there must be a way to zoom in. Oh yeah, all right, there we go, there we go, we're zooming in, right? So what it, what it is allowing us to do here, uh, I'm gonna zoom in once more, okay, great. So we're creating these containers that allow us to select for things, right? So in the beginning, we have our address container, balance, all these things, and then we render these components, right? And it gets stuck on our target, which we are have in our um, web flow. And I, I'm gonna probably make it a template from the web flow, so it'll be easy for you to get started and use that. I don't know when I'll get that out because it's the holiday and I need to spend some family time. But um, so it attaches itself at the React target in our app. And then we render all these components. But if we go into the components, right, these containers, right, network ID container, we have some blah, blah, blah stuff here, right? And we find all the locations where we have our tag. And then we render our network ID. And our network ID creates a portal, a React portal, which means that each one of these components are React components, right? So we can, we can build them like they're regular React components. And that allows us a really crazy amount of flexibility and power because we can build full, full um, Web3 applications using something like Webflow. So uh, it's not perfect, it's super alpha, super rough. I'm sure there's uh, just a million of rough edges here. But as you saw, I created this in you know seconds, right? And that sort of like ability is gonna really, I hope, I think, gonna make available to people the ability to build Web3 DApp just like snap, super easy. You know, the next step is to build in a contract support into DAP Hero so that you'll just, the same way I was able to just drag on a MetaMask, can get connected to MetaMask button, you'll be able to drag on your, um, your die balance, you'll be able to drag on your send transaction balance, send, send transaction button, you'll be, able to, you'll be able to do anything that you would normally do in a DAP in Webflow. You'll be able to design it in Webflow. And the cool thing is this isn't like designed for mobile yet because it's kind of like, you know, I, I didn't spend too much time on it. But uh, you can set it easily to mobile. You say, oh, I want, I want a mobile view of, of this. Okay, well, go in here and say, hey, okay, so for the mobile view of this, uh, you know, this should be like, I don't know, we'll position it or, or maybe we'll just like do something funky. Uh, maybe, maybe now it'll be like, what, 95%, right? So, so now I have a mobile view of my Web3 DAP, just like that, desktop mobile, right? And you can do it for all the other layouts too if you wanted. So um, I really hope that this is gonna like blow open the availability of making Web3 DApps super easily for regular designers because in, I really believe that if we're gonna make Ethereum um, really out there, really huge, we really need to onboard all these people without making them do the code, right? Like we shouldn't all need to, to be Web3 experts to be able to build Web3, powerful Web3 applications on Ethereum. So I hope this is a first step towards that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'm gonna post up all this stuff so you can see it. Please, you know, if you wanna help out, get in touch, um, throw up some, some commits, you know, fork it, help me out with it. Uh, I think it's gonna be really exciting and, and this, is, this is gonna really, this is gonna be cool. So once again, happy Thanksgiving and I'm done with this recording.